morning. There's our beautiful sun, and we're not going to see that until about 4 o'clock this afternoon because storms are a brewing. If you can see the white caps starting to happen, well, it's not a good shot, but white caps are starting to happen, and the winds are picking up, and we are going to be getting some big winds and rain in the, shortly. So we're hunkered down at Anchorage somewhere in the Florida Keys. We just got a tornado warning for about 20 more minutes. We had a calm. Now we have some dark skies. The winds are picking up. Um, we've got our life jackets right here. We're about to put them on. It's getting very loud. Uh, a little scary. 15 more minutes. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I'm a little scared. Well, something's a brewing. Looks like it's coming our way. Hail and thunderstorms. Okay, just to be safe, I got my big Helly Henson on um, with rubberized everything, and I uh, got my life jacket on. It looks like it's clearing here, but the winds are picking up that way. I can't even open the door because it's we're really moving. Um, so prepared as I'm going to be. <sighs> Key West is 30 miles. Jacksonville is 492. We're back at that park for more adventure on Big Pine Key with Norm just pulling in. So we're riding in big red here, Norm's vehicle. We're riding north to Isla Morada and this is, they have all these little nooks and cranny parks along the way. We're going north on um, the freeway or the highway here. Uh, this is called Ants Park. We're just getting out to stretch our legs as we continue on. And it's a nice little boardwalk. in the sand. Hi Katie! Oh, it's very slippery. Once again, Rob, you gotta get the feet in the water. Whoa! <laughs> very slimy! <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? She got to write her name in there. Explain what you're doing there, dear. I'm writing my name in slime. If I can get some, there we go. Slimy name. Well, I think I'm just going to write my initial. <laughs> it stands for Robin and the Ramblers. There, R. R. <laughs> All right, I wrote my initial with the mud because that's what the thing to do is. Now that could stand for R for Robin, R for Ramblers, or R for R. Okay, I talked I talked Norm into it. I know. Okay, this is a cool little tidbit, a fun fact. While we're on this walk, there are two um, spikes driven into the ground, remnants of the Flagler Railroad that went all the way, remember, all the way out to Key West and back. Um, and it's actually remnants of two different um, sizes. I can't remember what that word is, but you know when it's sizes of railroads. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and show you right now. Okay, right here, look at that. In the middle of the woods, in the middle of this hammock, there's one, and it's called a gauge. Two different gauges. So there's one spike, and look at, here's the other. Oh, this is so cool. Right here, Flagler Railroad. Who knew? 
All right, here on Isla Mirada, we're going to go visit the history of the diving museum. I wonder if they have a dive bar, fellas. <laughs> this is a recompression chamber, so they would put a man in there if he had the bends. Like a, what's even, look at that, like an MRI machine. <laughs> oh, they put a beard on him. If he jumps on my uh, screaming. Yellow compression machine. Oh, the yellow compression machine. We all are leaving the yellow compression machine. Katie is deep sea diving, looking for treasure. <laughs> a leather hood and snorkel. Look at this, this is a little freaky, 1500s. And Leonardo da Vinci actually drew, created something back in his uh, similar thing, like in the 1500s, that's amazing. 1535. Could it have worked? No, the water pressure would have collapsed the tube. This is a Bazooka Joe helmet. Just kidding. Who knows that reference? Uh, this was actually invented by Dr. Halley. I was in Halley's comment. These are homemade, and this one is so cool. Um, this one is made from old stove parts in the early 20th century. This one is made from a chamber pot right there. And this one right here, Captain Dan, can you read that to us? Roman or 1920s used in smuggling operations during Prohibition. Contraband whiskey dropped in the Detroit River by Canadians was spotted through the breast plate window. Right there. Dun to dun. Dun to dun. That's awesome. It's authentic silver bullion and 70 pounds. You did it, honey. Good job, Captain Dan. Time for a rum. <laughs> this was the first fully functional replica of the diving helmet used in the 1954 Disney classic, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Under the Sea. The helmet because it was used by pearl divers in Australia. The usual shiny helmet with two bolts on the shoulders is specifically designed for recovery of unexploded helmets without a breastplate. Is known as the fire plug. And we also have helmets by maker Dino Carlson. Y'all know I collect pins for my hands. So here I bought three little pins that look like diving suits. And here's one of them the Galozzi suit. Oh, yeah, right there. Pretty cool. This is one of my pins too, the Iron Mike. Even though it's not made out of iron, it's made out of bronze and steel. But it looks like a minion or a duck. How cute is that? Half a ton of bronze and steel in the 1930s. This is the gym suit. Look at this. It was featured in For Your Eyes Only, James Bond. And in the movie, I think it was called Deep Six, Deep Star Six. I love this. Look at this. That's also one of my pins. They were proud like you did me. <laughs> yeah, they were making me laugh. She's going to beat me. Look at her. Go, Robin. Two minutes. Carter holding her breath, or not talking. Don't mess with the hat. Just don't mess with the hat. Here we go. Yeah. Isn't that warm? Because she's got lots of hot air. <laughs> we are at the famous Robbie's. Mile marker seventy-seven point five. We are here to feed Tarpon. We wanted to do it last time, did not get a chance. Uh, I believe this is on Isla Morado or just outside it. There's a restaurant, you can rent boats, kayaks, a whole bunch of things to do here. Um, a bar, a gift shop, but we're heading to feed the tarpon. Apparently a must do while you're here. Tarpon feeding. They're ready. I smell fish. There's Katie. She's got her bucket. Here's my bucket. We've been told not to feed the pelican. Oh my gosh. I can't even look at that. Okay. So now we're going to walk out this way. They really do fly at you. They know where their next meal is coming from. You're not getting any. No, no, no. So this is where you feed. Oh my gosh. Look at how they are quite aggressive. Not feed the pelicans or the manatees. I'm covering my bucket with my arm. There's the bucket. Oh my gosh. Get away. No. No. 
Ooh. Pelicans. Oh, I love your pellies. I can't believe it. Hi, pellies.